beautiful sunny day in Columbus, Ohio. As you can see, just glorious. Well, it might be raining out there, but it is still a good day because it is burger time. Where are we going, Tyler? We Today we are going to the Thurman Cafe. It is downtown Columbus, kind of a local spot. It's somewhat famous, I guess you could say. It was on uh, like an episode of Man Vs. Food when that was still a thing. And very, very, very well-known restaurant, so I'm pretty excited. Oh my goodness, me too. It has been a week since I've had my last burger, or really my last good food of anything, so I'm very excited for this Thurman's. Um, we will review it, so stick around to see what we think of the taste, the atmosphere, and the price. Any last words? We need to get there faster because I am very hungry. We'll watch out for cops. We don't advise speeding, so we're, we're professionals. Episode number three of Burgers and Biceps. We just wrapped up Thurman's that you guys saw a little bit of already. Um, overall, it's a pretty great experience. Now we'll get down into the breakdown. First off, atmosphere. All right, so the atmosphere at Thurman's, it was, it was different. I liked it. I don't think I could do that as like an everyday sort of thing. It was a little bit crowded, um, kind of a sensory overload with if anybody any one of you have been to Thurman's before, there's like dollar bills like all over the wall and a bunch of old posters and stuff. So it was cool and different. I appreciated it. Um, it was a little bit much, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four just for the difference. I'm right there at a four too. It has character to it, which is nice. The other two places we've been have been more chain style restaurants. So you don't get kind of that traditional, you know, whatever their style is per se. Um, so that was cool. I'm not really much of a bar scene guy and that's kind of what it is. So same thing, you know, kind of a lot smaller than I expected too and cramped. Um, but overall, good times, good music, very, very nice staff. So yeah, we'll go with a four. Um, price wise, it's, it was pretty good value. I would say it's still on the, I mean, we also order a lot of food. So yes. anytime we're never going to go to a place for like $10, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not we, McDonald's. We usually shoot for like a 40 or $50 between the two of us combined uh, price range. And we hit that on the mark 50 bucks. And we each got a huge burger that you guys saw some kettle chips. And then we each got a basket of fries. So I would give it a four um, because it was so good. It is still, more on the expensive side, but price for value, I say four. Yep, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Uh, the 50 was with the tip and all that, and in reality, we probably only need one basket of fries in between the two of us, because um, those burgers were huge, the basket of fries were very generous, so all in all, probably would have broken down to about 35 um, without the tip and everything we needed. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 just because it is, there's some history and experience behind it too. So a lot of times restaurants with a famous name will use that to upcharge even more um, than, they, than they probably should. This wasn't really the case. I feel this was good, good bang for the buck. Yeah, because it was priced the exact same as B-dubs. Yeah. But for- Way more food. <laughs> way more food, yeah. Just, just purely off the burger standpoint, we got some extras. Um, but yeah, so I guess now taste. Yes, that moves us into taste. And guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how good that burger was. That was a phenomenal uh, burger. I am going to give it a five. Easy five. The bacon yeah. was crispy. They were not stingy with the mayonnaise. It mixed perfectly with the lettuce and tomato. The bun wasn't soggy, but the burger patty was huge and juicy to the max. It was like a waterfall after you took a bite of it. Oh. It was the perfect melody of flavors in the mouth 
I could write an epic poem about that burger. It was I so could write good. a movie about that burger. <laughs> you can see in the video, especially when Noah bit into his, just juicy, nice, big burger. I mean, nothing, I, I'm, we kind of had this conversation. We're worried that nothing is going to be able to top that. Hopefully something can kind of tie with it, but I'm not sure we're going to find a better tasting burger. But that's the whole so point good. of the series. Yep. We have, what, six weeks left to yep. try to find something. So yep. we'll see. But as of now, easily a five. Um, so I gave it, what, four, four, and a five. So that's going to be, um, I'll put the exact number somewhere up here, like a 4.7, somewhere around there for me. Yep. And mine would just be a touch higher than that with the 4.5 on the price as opposed to the four. So four for atmosphere, 4.5 price, and then definite, definite five for taste. Um, if not the best burger I've ever had, then definitely tied for the best burger I've ever oh, had. Ab absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, so definitely we have a new number one right now. So Thurman's going to be the, the, the place to be over the next couple weeks. So we'll see. We have not decided where we're going next week. We still have some research to do on that. But we'll see you guys then. Yep, and let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions around Columbus area for good burgers. So right now, time to take our pre-workout and put these burgers in.